हेलो फ्रेंड्स आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द चैप्टर इज ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोल सो वाट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोल वाई वी आर डूइंग प्रोडक्शन प्लानिंग एंड प्रोडक्शन कंट्रोल सो फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज सिस्टमेटिक प्लानिंग ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटीज टू अचीव द हाइएस्ट एफिशियंसी इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू अचीव मैक्सिमम एफिशियंसी इन आर प्रोडक्शन वी हैव टू डू द सिस्टमेटिक प्लानिंग सो द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज सिस्टमेटिक प्लानिंग ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटीज सो दैट वी कैन अचीव द मैक्सिमम एफिशियंसी इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटीज लाइक मैन मशीन्स मटीरियल्स एक्सेट्रा टू अचीव स्टेटेड ऑब्जेक्टिव सो एवरीथिंग विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द प्रोडक्शन और मैनुफैक्चरिंग लाइक लेबर मशीन्स इक्विपमेंट्स मटीरियल्स we have to organize them in a systematic way so organizing these activities will help us in achieving the industry's objectives so second objective of ppc is organizing production facilities like men machines materials etc to achieve stated objectives next objective is optimum scheduling of resources so we use production planning and control so that we can do the optimum scheduling of resources next objective is to confirm delivery commitments so that we can deliver the products on decided time and date there should be no delay in the delivery next objective is materials planning and control so we can do the planning and control of materials which are going to use in the production and last objective is making the adjustments due to changes in demands if there are sudden changes in demands by the customers we can do or we can make the desired or required adjustments in our process so that we can meet the fluctuating demand so these are some of the objectives of production planning and control next are the functions of production planning and control the main functions of production planning and control are divided into two types production planning functions and production control functions under production planning functions there are four functions planning routing scheduling and loading and under production control functions there are three functions dispatching follow up and inspection so there are total seven sub functions of production planning and control so the main functions of production planning and control are divided into two types production planning functions and production control functions production planning functions are further subdivided into four types and production control functions are further subdivided into three types so these are <coughs> so next is stages of ppc so stages of production planning and control as well as the functions of production planning and control so first production planning function is planning means under the category of production planning functions the first sub category is planning so in production planning in advance is very necessary for smooth flow of work so if we want to achieve smooth flow of work in our industry we have to do much planning in advance it is very necessary to plan things in advance it is the planning department which decides about each element of the job in anticipation that is what work shall be done where how and when the work shall be done so it is the duty of the planning department to decide what work shall be done where how and when the work shall be done so this is the function of planning department and this is the first and foremost function of production planning and control which is planning second function is routing so what is routing routing may be defined as the selection of path which the product should follow while being transformed from raw materials to finished stage so we wish to transform our raw materials into the finished products we have to decide the path for the raw materials means the machines through which they pass through or the processes or operations we have to done on the raw materials in sequence is routing so routing may be defined as the selection of path which the product should follow while being transformed from raw materials to finished stage okay 
it also gives sequence of operations to be performed as i've said earlier to decide the operations through which the raw materials has pa has to pass through so that they can be converted into finished products so it also gives sequence of operations to be performed next function of production planning and control is scheduling it may be defined as the fixation of time and date for each operation now we have decided the sequence of operations under routing now we have to fix the time and date for the operation to be done so it is done by planning department and timings for various operations are determined so under scheduling it may be defined as the fixation of time and date for each operation it is done by planning department and timings for various operations are determined now last function of production planning functions is loading so what do you mean by loading it may be defined as the assignment of work to a worker equipment work group or entire plant so to assign the work duties to the worker equipment work group or entire plant is loading this machine loading is the process of compiling the load or work assigned to each machine for a given period of time so to assign the load to a specific machine for a given period of time is machine loading so read again loading may be defined as the assignment of work to a worker equipment work group or an entire plant thus machine loading is the process of compiling the load or work assigned to each machine for a given period of time so these are the four functions of production planning so under four under production planning functions there are four sub categories which are planning routing scheduling and loading now the second main function of ppc is production control functions so under production control there are three functions which is first one is dispatching what do you mean by dispatching dispatching may be defined as release of orders and instructions for starting the production of any item in accordance with the route sheets and schedule charts so when you have decided the sequence and you have scheduled the operations and also you have assigned the work or load to the machine and workers now you have to release the orders so that the workers can start the work so dispatching may be defined as release of orders and instructions for starting the production of any item in accordance with the route sheets and schedule charts so you will give orders and instructions according to the route sheets and schedule charts you have prepared so this is dispatching next function of production control is follow up the function of follow up section is to report daily the progress of work in each shop so first function is to report the daily work or progress of daily work in each shop in a prescribed performa and to investigate the causes of deviation from the planned performance and if there is a deviation from the planning schedule then you have to find the causes of deviation that they are causing deviation in the planned performance so the function of follow up section is to report daily the progress of work in each shop in a prescribed performa so first function is to report the daily progress of work in a prescribed performa for each shop and then to investigate the causes of deviation from the planned performance and if there are deviation from the schedule then you have to find the causes which because of which it is happening after follow up the last function of production control is inspection it is carried out to confirm that quality produced is of determined standard so when the production is complete you have produced the number of products required then you will do the inspection so why we do the inspection it is carried out to confirm that quality produced is of determined standard means the standard we require in the production is achieved so quality produced is of a determined standard now in instead of doing inspection at the last you can do inspection at the end of each operation it will help in the reduction in wastage of a raw material so let's read to reduce rejections 
and waste stages inspection is done at various stages starting from raw material to finished stage so last function of production control is inspection it is carried out to confirm that quality produced is of determined standards to reduce rejections and waste stages inspection is done at various stages starting from raw material to finished stage so there are total seven functions of production planning and control the main functions are two types production planning functions and production control functions under the category of production planning there are four functions first one is planning then routing then scheduling and then loading and under production control there are three functions which is which are dispatching follow up and inspection so after the functions what are the advantages of production planning and control so first advantage is effective utilization of plant capacity so the utilization of plant capacity can be done effectively we can use our plant to the maximum extent then second is steady flow of production means there will be no delay in production there will be continuous flow of material then estimation of resources then it prevents overstocking and understocking helps in optimum inventory so if you are doing proper planning and control then obviously the, your inventory will be optimum there will be there would be no overstock overstocking and understocking next is ensures proper coordination of activities of various department so it will help in the proper coordination between various departments minimizes wastages of raw materials there will be minimum wastage of raw materials and last is it provides better work environment with improved working conditions the working conditions will be improved and it will provide better work environment for the workers so these are the various advantages of production planning and control so that's it for today we will cover the rest of the topics in our next lecture thank you